Hello luxury watch lovers! In this channel I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the Longines Legend Diver. The Longines Legend Diver watch is a reissue of a diving watch that was first introduced in 1960. It's a classic piece from the watchmaker's heritage collection. Longines has used its current expertise to ensure legibility, waterproofness, and practicality in this modern edition while retaining the codes and design of the 1960s. This timepiece combines high performance and traditional elegance. The Longines Legend Diver reference L377445000 or abbreviated as LLD is a modern redesign of a venerable old classic. Longines introduced the Nautilus Skin Diver in the late 1950s. This was their reaction to an onslaught of dive watches at the time. Indeed, the 1950s and early 1960s produced some of the most iconic dive watches ever created, such as the Rolex Submariner. Longines did not take their time with this design. They expanded it with the reference 7042, a larger dive watch that was among the first to use the super compressor principle. This is a patented process in which the case uses water pressure to achieve a better seal. Essentially, the case is a little too big. The water pressure increases as it is submerged, forcing the case tighter and tighter together. The greater your depth, the stronger your seal. The crowns are also highly secure against infiltration thanks to concealed pegs with no openings around them. The Legend Diver is primarily inspired by the reference 7042. It does, however, steal the more popular hands from the later 794 watches. The LLD even has a date window at 3 o'clock, a modern feature that all the watches in the series lacked. The very first production run of the LLD did not include a date window, making that run very unique. Finally, the LLD has modern screw-down crowns, which were not available when the 7042 was manufactured. A watch with a slightly or not so slightly vintage appearance has a certain allure. Many watchmakers have taken action as a result of this. Omega, for example, recently reintroduced a popular trilogy of 1957 watches, and collectors are very interested in that era of watchmaking history. Especially with horology collectors, the types of old souls who really appreciate the fascinating history and evolution of the business. Some watch enthusiasts refer to the LLD as having its origins in the late 1950s and early 1960s, when there was a certain finesse to the era. This dexterity was evident in timepieces that were just emerging from the mid-1950s to the early 1960s. The Longines Legend Diver debuted only seven years after the Blanc Pair 50 Fathoms, the world's first modern diving watch. This was a time when the dive watch market was teeming with activity and demand for diving watches was reaching a fever pitch. So if we fast forward to today, over 60 years has passed since the watch was first unveiled and Longines has spent their time researching ways to improve on a watch that already has a lot going for it. The 2020 Longines Legend Diver collection has received some significant upgrades which we will discuss during this review. First, let's take a look at the various styles available in the Longines Legend Diver 2020 series. The Longines Legend Diver is sleek and stylish as opposed to the usual bulky and very sporty looking dive watches. It's a dress diver that, like its predecessor, can be worn with your favourite suit for more formal casual occasions. It's a legend with no timetable. As previously stated, the first reissue of the Longines Legend Diver introduced in 2007 lacks a date function. 
Longines only introduced a version with a date complication in 2009. And by 2012, the brand had discontinued production of the no-date model, increasing its popularity among watch enthusiasts and collectors. So how about the different models? Some models, such as the one shown here, have a stainless steel mesh bracelet. Other models have a fabric strap, while others have a rubber strap, and each is outfitted with a new caliber under the hood. The two models that come on a steel bracelet look the same but have different movements that power them. The steel folding clasp with a safety latch secures the watch to the wrist and it is powered by the Longine Caliber L633. This caliber is an Air Bosch movement based on the trustworthy 25 Joule ETA28242 caliber. It has a power reserve of 38 hours and beats at a steady 28,800 4 Hz. The other steel bracelet model, L3774506, has a push button folding clasp and a different caliber. The 21 Jewel Longine L888, which is based on the ETA A31L01 caliber. This movement beats at a slightly lower rate of 25,200, making it a 3.5 Hz watch movement. But it outperforms the L633 significantly on the full wind, with a power reserve of approximately 65 hours. Other models that make use of this longer lasting movement are model L3774500 with a black fabric strap and white stitching and the L888 movement. The L3774509 has a steel case, a black rubber strap and the L888 movements. Model L3774209 has a black PVD case, a black rubber strap, and is powered by the L888 movement. Now, whatever model you select, you will receive a high quality dive watch with an impressive water resistance rating. The new Longines Legend Diver series features a sturdy case back depicting a professional diver holding what appears to be a spear or harpoon. Let's take a look at some of its design features. We are looking at reference L3774500 with a case size of 42mm. It has a lug width of 22mm and a thickness of 12.7mm. And its movement, consisting of ETA caliber L888, ensures a power reserve of 64 hours. Its black lacquered polished dial displays its analog time. And all our dive lovers out there will be very happy that it has a water resistance of up to 300 meters. So you can expect to pay about $2,516 for this watch. Here are 4 things to consider before buying the Longines Legend Diver. Reference L3774500 or LLD for short. Starting with number 1, the case and crystal. The Longines Legend Diver has a slim, round profile. This gives it a moderate wrist presence while keeping the weight to a minimum. Its 22mm lugs accept mid-sized straps, giving you plenty of options if you don't like the stock strap. The steel is brightly polished, has a smooth finish and no bezel. The steel appears to curve into the side of the crystal prematurely, causing the already highly arched crystal to protrude even further. The sapphire crystal is scratch resistant and the inner surface is anti-reflective. Although the arch design obscures details at a wide angle, this makes the dial easy to read. As you might expect, a large portion of the Legend Diver's features revolves around outstanding underwater performance. The crown is screwed in, so it won't come out by accident if it gets snagged. The case back is also screwed down, and this enables the use of a heavy-duty gasket, which improves waterproofing even further. 
Finally, like the older 7042, there's an internal diving flange that tightens as the water pressure rises. And all of this adds up to a whopping 300 meters of water resistance. Despite the lack of additional dive features, this is a dependable underwater watch. Moving on to number 2, a rich monochrome dial. The bi-directional rotating bezel is located on the inside of the dial, behind the scratch-resistant sapphire crystal. The start point of the bezel is indicated by a glow-in-the-dark triangle, and the index hour markers on the inside of the dial are punctuated by a small luminous square. The dial of the Legend Diver is a traditional monochrome design with white numerals and indices painted on a black satin lacquered background. The outer index is made up of bold hashes with larger hashes at 5 minute intervals. Arabic numerals are scarce, appearing only at the 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock positions. The date window is located at 3 o'clock on the dial. The index pip markings are all painted with a super luminova finish which glows brightly in the dark. This luminous line appears as an underline beneath the numeral at 12 o'clock, above the numeral at 6 o'clock and to the right of the numeral at 9 o'clock. The minute hand is painted similarly with a slim profile and a stainless steel skeleton that is as elegant as it is functional. With an arrow-shaped superluminova coated head and a thicker frame, the hour hand is shorter and broader. And the second hand is almost as fine as a needle and nearly invisible in the dark. Hopping across to number 3, a reliable movement. Longines modified ETA caliber L888 movement powers the LLD. And as one might expect, this is a self-winding automatic movement that continues to run as long as the watch is worn. And it will continue to run for some time after that. With a 72 hour power reserve, you can remove the Legend Diver on Friday, put it back on Monday morning with nearly a full day's worth of power. With an accuracy of about 5 seconds per day, this is an impressive movement. It also runs very smoothly with a frequency of 25,200 beats per hour. And last but not least, number 4, an embossed leather strap. The Legend Diver is outfitted with a stylish black leather strap that is stitched around the edges and reinforced with nylon at the lugs. The strap is unique because it is padded, and this could be one of the reasons it fits so well on the wrist. Although it is synthetic, the inner lining is a nice felt-like cloth with contrasting stitching giving it a bit of style. And this is also why the watch stays put and wearers don't complain about sweating. It also has the Longines signature cross-hatched buckle and the winged hourglass logo. Now, because it is stiff when new, some people are quick to replace it with other straps, such as the stainless steel or rubber ones, not realizing that if they give it some time, the strap will actually soften and become more comfortable over time. Nonetheless, the strap is one of the watch's hit or miss features. Some people dislike it, while others adore it. And this wraps up my review of the Longines Legend Diver, reference L3774500. Let me know in the comments below, what's on your wrist today? Thank you for sticking it out right until the very end of this video. Nothing helps my channel more than you watching until the very end. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments what other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.